Namaste, my name is Dio and welcome to my channel. Today I'll tell you how you can put an end to your generational curse. All of us know a little about generational curse, but for those who don't know, very quickly I'll tell you what it is. So to find a solution to it, to act on the solution becomes easy for everyone. Now a generational curse is something that let's say our grandfather, our ancestors, our uh, ancient ancestors have done certain things that were wrong in their life which for that now we are suffering because of this this suffering could now be let's say delay in your work loss in your business always finding the wrong uh, relationship always always being in a in a toxic relationship always having loss of money it could be anything related to our problems but these problems are a cycle of problems there is no end to that delay. There is no end to that toxic relationship. One after the other, one after the other. There is no way out from this cycle. This, If this is what is happening in your life, then there's a very big chance it is because of a generational curse. Now you, according to the life that you are in, if you can relate to it, that yeah, this is the cycle that I've been stuck for a very long time. I'm trying whatever techniques of manifestation and doing every other thing that is required, but I'm still not finding a way out of it, then you are, a, you are a, the perfect example of what a generational curse is. Now that we've realized what it is and you can, you can pinpoint it, yeah, this is where things are going wrong, I will give you a solution to get rid of it, to put an end to this generational curse. But for that, it's very important now to also acknowledge who was that grandfather of ours, who is that ancestor of ours. It's very, very cool. Nowadays, it's become very cool for people to start blaming others for their mistakes or for your suffering. Let's put it on somebody else. What if, have you ever thought of, what if you are that ancestor, you are that ancient ancestor or a recent past, somebody from your generation who has come back now to sort this out, to find a solution to it so that the next generation does not suffer. Have you ever realized that? Have you ever thought about that? No, it's a generational curse. Our grandfather did it, our ancients did it, and they did it, and we are here suffering for it. And this is why we're not finding a solution because we are blaming someone else for it. This solution will come once you start realizing what this world is all about. You're living in an illusion. An illusion means it is there but not there. So your suffering is there but in reality it is not there. Whether you choose to stick on to that part of that illusion that it is there, that is going to be where this entire generational curse lies. So like I said, today if you are not aware of it, of where things are going wrong, your ancestor for that example, your ancestor, your grandfather, the one who was previously living that life was also not aware of this fact that the world that we are living in is an illusion. It is there but not there, be physically attached but spiritually detached. This knowledge was not there. So let's say once the soul left the body, it realized that, oh my God, this is where I messed up. The action that I've done is not even real. The person who is suffering because of me is not even real. I have attached myself to that problem, to that incident that has happened. This is why things are going wrong. Okay, let me go down and rectify this. But now we come again and we forget about the whole thing. We can't blame ourselves. This entire realm, this Brahma, the world of Brahma is so powerful. You call it matrix, we call it Brahma. It's so powerful that it is designed for us to keep losing. Spiritual practices teach us just that, how to win, how to sneak our way through it, how to manipulate it, to get out of this trap, to get out of the cycle. For now, we will call it the generational curse. So now, like I said, when it is there but not there and you are probably the one, even if let's say you are not the one who's made that mistake and now you are going through that mistake, first thing realization happens is realizing where that problem is. For an example, let's say if it is delays, delays with your business, your entire, your entire character personality is ready for it. You are the right person for that job, for that business to succeed, for that lover to be there. You're the best human being ever. Once you start realizing, yeah, this is the cycle that I'm stuck in. Now is the time that you will start cashing on to self-realization. Self-realization is that, yeah, I am living in an illusion. What is happening is an illusion. The delay that I've got now myself so stuck to. Why am I being delayed? Why is there no love? Why is there toxic relation? Why am I always broke? That is also called self-realization that, yeah, I have got stuck to something that I'd come down to rectify. Either you've come down again or you are that new generation who has nothing to do with it. So there are always two ways to now acknowledge this. Spiritual practice means knowing the truth. 
rituals and all these were all leading to that truth. So now that you've realized that, okay, the delay that is going on, something that I've done in my past life or my ancestors or my grandfather or the other generation has done, which is now happening with me also over here now, you, now depending on how your personality is, I would say you are not my monkey and your life was not my circus. Not my monkey, not my circus, it shouldn't affect me now. That is it for me, my personality. If you, depending on how, what your personality is, maybe this being a little, let's say, calling it a little arrogant or being a little pompous that no, not my life, not my, not my monkey, not my circus. If this doesn't suit you, then you'll be kind enough, you'll be humble enough and you say, okay, whatever happened at that time, my friend, that was an illusion. This is an illusion. You're living in an illusion. You'll be polite towards it. But the power behind that will always be with the attitude that you realize the truth. You tell me, you tell me right now, let's say in this life of yours, you are the perfect person for that job. There are two people who are getting that job. You are the first one over there. You're sitting there. Your interview goes great. The other one sitting next to you, he doesn't get the job. You get that job. This person sitting here over here is cursing you now. Man, this guy got the job and because of him, I couldn't get it. He's saying what happened, right? That has become a curse right now, somewhere or the other. So either knowingly or unknowingly, this is now becoming a problem because somewhere that energy has got attached to you now. Or let's say for that matter, if you are the person who's got that job, you go speak to your friend saying that, you know what, I got the job, the other guy didn't get that job. Somewhere it is staying with you that you are the one who's got that job. So again, now the next time when you come, you're always going for an interview, but never getting that job. Always going for an interview, never getting that job. Relate this with everything. For you, that person sometime, have you broken somebody's heart? Your great-grandfather has broken somebody's heart, had cheated on somebody. That now, somewhere or the other, you who were playing that part, who was cheating on somebody, that stayed on with you. Like I said, you got physically attached, spiritually attached to it. That now you are here dealing with it, trying to rectify it. This is why again and again you're being cheated on. Again and again you're going through that heartbreak. So you will have to tell yourself, yourself right now over here, that mistake was an illusion. This, what is happening is an illusion. I decide what my illusion should be. Brahma is the creator of this illusion. Vishnu is the preserver of this illusion. Shiva is the destroyer of an illusion for you to now create one. You will create a new life, but that will also be an illusion. So you might as well now start taking actions of the repetitive things that are going on in your life. Like I said, you are the best person to decide. No point me sitting here and giving endless amount of examples. If you're on the other side of this, of this video, you definitely know where you are stuck in that cycle. So first, like I said, realize it, acknowledge it. Yeah, this is where, this is that one thing which I know either me who was playing that part or somebody else from this generation of mine or the previous generation has made that mistake. Definitely they made somebody wait. They've had that breakup. They've, they've cheated somebody in business. This is why my losses are happening over here now. Acknowledge it. At the same time, self-realize always mean I'm a soul in a human form. Self-realization, experiencing this illusion. So that wasn't real. This is not real. Okay, so not my monkey, not my circus. Right now, this is my this is my circus, my life. I decide what happens. My life is my life and nobody tells me what I should do, how I should live my life. From now onwards, it's success. No more delays. Done with delays. From now onwards, no more heartbreak. From now onwards, no more being broke. From now onwards, no more sorrow. Always joy. You are creating your new life, which is a new illusion. The generational curse was an illusion. You're dealing with an illusion. Illusion is always seen as it is there, but not there. What do you want to stick on to? There or you want to stick on to, but not there. Definitely that big but, not there. This is definitely going to get you free from that cycle of suffering in that area that you are stuck in. From now onwards, no more generational curse. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel. Until I see you again, have a good life. Namaste.